So I'm shooting this before finishing my review of the Vegway VG16. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to do a teardown and get a real opinion. So this is just going to be a side-by-side -side teardown of two very similar USB microphones in the same class of microphone, with the Vegway VG16 on the left and the Majority RS Pro on the right. This is to explain why I really like one of these, and the other one, not so much. Okay, so let's start at the bottom up. These two screw rings are very similar. Very similar, both in weight and construction. The threading on the majority goes deeper than the threading on the VJ16. And the diameters are slightly different. I don't know if they can go across each other. Okay, yeah. So you can put one on the other, no problem. Not a real difference there. However, when you get to the casing, big difference. Okay, the Vegway is clearly aluminum. It's not coated on the inside at all. Can you hear it? This thing is tin can thin. I believe if I actually put some effort into it, I could probably either crush it or come close to crushing it just by hand. It's thin, it's light. The majority, on the other hand, is so much more solid. It feels so much better. It's thicker. Uh, I believe it's thicker. They visibly don't look that different, except that the majority has been actually coated or painted black on the inside. But I believe this might be made out of steel. It's definitely aluminum. So if I take a measurement of the thickness of it, it's slightly above one mil, uh, one millimeter, maybe 1.1 millimeter. I need a digital caliper so it's easier to read on the screen. And the Vegway. Uh, looks just slightly less than a millimeter to me. Maybe like 0 0.9. So, so they aren't that far off in terms of thickness, but the weight, very different, and just how sturdy they feel. Could not crush. Kinda think I could crush, and yeah, this is definitely gonna get crushed later. That's why I had the tape. Okay. Okay, moving on to the actual circuit board. The only real differentiator, I mean, the parts are definitely different, but I mean, so this claims to 24 bit, 96 kilohertz. So the Vegway has a marketing point there. This one only claims 16 bit, 48 kilohertz, which honestly, for, for my purposes, I can't tell that much of a difference, really. This is a much larger monolithic chip on it, and this has some more discrete chips that are much harder to read. Worth pointing out though, these screws actually have what looks to be some red thread locker on it. Nothing like that here. But as far as how the board is mounted, while well, they're inverted of each other, this is the front to the back of the board. This is the back to the back, front, front, back, front, front, back. So construction wide, this Vegway is, it's been chrome plated. It's molded, maybe metal probably aluminum that has a chrome coating on it, but it's light, you see the seam on it. It's got these kind of nubs in the corners that are not good for anything. These hole, these screw holes are threaded all the way through, so I could actually put the board on this side if I wanted to. The USB ports, about the same. Contacts look slightly different. These look a little bit more yellow. Maybe they're gold plated. I can't really tell. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're about the same. The difference is that the frame of the majority is bent sheet metal. Uh, so there's two screw holes, one long piece that's been bent, screwed onto the top, screwed onto the bottom on both sides. So more modular in that way. It's also stiffer. I feel a lot better about it as opposed to this other frame that 
it, it's hard to put into words how it just feels light and weak, but it feels light and weak. Whereas this is kind of have this looks like punch metal top. It's just built like a thing that's meant to last. It probably costs more to do it this way. I definitely feel better about it. Moving up higher, uh, we get to the condenser. Call the capsule, call the core. I've seen it both ways. I can find a very similar one to this on AliExpress. I cannot find this exact one on AliExpress, although I'll get to that. So the capsule on the majority is 14 millimeters. The capsule on the Vegway is 14 millimeters. They're the same size. And 14 is not good. It's it's small for a microphone of this style. What you would expect is where this plastic ring is, is how big you would expect it to be. In this case, that ring's 30 millimeters across. Can't really buy a uh, core in that size. This one is 34, and you can buy a part like that. And so there, there's some foam right in front of the capsule on the side. Maybe that will help a little bit with plosives. Probably not. I think it's just there to hide it. Uh, because this whole plastic ring just seems to be there to make it look more expensive than it is when you're looking through here. Uh, it doesn't show on the camera well, but you, but you can kind of see the capsule through the mesh on this one, and you cannot see it through on the Vegway. So the Vegway, they have this foam lining in here. It's just like the little foam windscreen you'd put over the top, but it's on the inside. So what that does is that stops you from seeing how bloody cheap this thing looks. Because it's just a cheap capsule on this big plastic ring. You can buy these rings on AliExpress for like $1.50 for five of them if it breaks, but whatever. And so it's just this pitiful capsule in this cheap plastic ring. On this one, they at least put forth the effort to make it look better, even though they're, they're faking it. It's not gonna be realistically better at catching sound. But the difference is if you see this base, it's substantial and it's built for a bigger capsule and you can just unscrew it. So if you wanted to buy a better condenser, a better capsule and just stick it on here, desolder this, solder the new one on, this is built perfectly to mod like that. I don't know why you would do that, because if you wanted a nice, fancy, studio quality by Chinese AliExpress standards capsule in this size, you're, it's $15. This whole microphone was $15. Although, it might not be $15 anymore at this point. The majority comes with some trim, uh, anodized aluminum, just red. And you get to the windscreen here. Obviously, this one has the mute button on top. This one has nothing on top. When it comes to construction, again, it's just so much different. So this has, almost looks like it's been machined out. It's probably, probably molded. I can't tell what this material even is. That's why I'm an electronics engineer. If you see, there's just so much more to this as opposed to this, where it's a ring around the side with a ring inset into it. And these strips here, if you can see the seam, they're pretty much just glued into place. They're not structural in any way. And then you just have this other ring on top. I, I, I honestly think it's glued together. Whereas this is all machined out. This is one solid piece coming all the way across here with this top being inset and it just feels so much sturdier. If you take a look at it, of how this construction is, it's it's really night and day, which is part of why I hate this, and I like this. It's not the only reason why. I'm probably gonna put this video up after the review. If the Vegway survives, and if the majority survives, which it will, because I'm treating it nicely, because I like it, I'm going to replace the condensers on both of them and do a side-by-side, -side. but we'll see and it will hopefully just be a great and interesting video that nobody will watch. Let's go.